Fighter jets and top-secret experimental planes thrill audiences in movies like Top Gun. Ted Ross, who retired as a lieutenant colonel in the Air Force, knows firsthand that thrill as a navigator for one of the military's most powerful aircraft, the SR-71. For the SR-71, which is the fastest and highest flying airplane in the world, and I got to fly that from 82 to 87. Ross was trained as a reconnaissance systems officer, or RSO, for the SR-71 and other high-tech planes, such as the B-2 stealth bomber, the U-2, and the FB-111. Uh, the FB-111 is very, very similar to the F-14 that Tom Cruise was flying uh, in the first Top Gun. This is the one airplane that I really do miss the most. From the FB-111, Ross said it was an easy transition to the SR-71, part of the Blackbird family of aircraft. In 1981, Ross applied for and was accepted into the program. Ross said you really had to pay attention when flying in the SR-71. I mean, you really had to pay attention when you're going 2,000 miles an hour. That's a half a mile a second. So that's basically across the whole United States in just barely over an hour. Ross has kept as many mementos of his 28 years in the Air Force as he can, given the classified nature of many of his missions. Yeah, this is the astronaut food that we ate. In the helmet, there's a little food port right here. But when the military made the decision to reduce the SR-71 program in 1987, Ross transitioned to other high-tech aircrafts. In a career spanning decades, Ross said he never had so much fun as when he was in the cockpit of the world's fastest, most powerful aircraft. And we would look over at each other and we would be grinning and it's like, we cannot believe they're paying us to have this much fun. Yeah, let's go lower, let's go faster. From Ranchester, I'm Wendy Core reporting.